Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Medieval Dynasty and we're going to be ranking all of the ranged weapons. And so there are eight of them and so we're going to be ranking them from eight to one. Eight being the worst, one being the best. Uh, we're not rating them based on a subjective like what I like better. It's just going to be how much damage they deal to animals. And so I started by testing it across a variety of animals, you know, going for deer, rabbits, all that sort of stuff. But I found it was really hard to quantify using different animals, so I decided to use one animal. And the animal that we'll be using for this is the bison, or bison for, I mean, Americans. So we're located here at my village. There's two bison outside the village, which I'll just be using to test each one on screen to show you. But I've also tested them prior to this video and come up with basically a ranking for every everyone based on how many headshots it takes to kill a bison with each of these weapons and how many body shots it takes. And so for each one, we'll be going through the headshots first and then the body shots. Well, unless I accidentally hit one in the body and then we'll start with body first. Uh, so the first weapon, the worst one that we've got is throwing rocks. And now a lot of people may not know these exist because they're not a very good weapon, so I don't know why you'd, you'd use them very often. But in your workbench, you can take a regular rock off the ground and turn it into four or five throwing rocks. Um, it takes, I think I found two to kill a rabbit, but to kill a bison, it takes 13, and that's trying to hit it in the head every time. Uh, so not a great weapon, but we're just gonna... Oh, and to get it accurately, I kind of had to kill multiple bison and just count the total amount that I used and then divide by it, because it was really hard to try and measure this one. Also, you're more likely to get killed by an animal than actually kill it with throwing rocks. So let's just see what that looks like. But yeah, so let's just see. Oh, he's running away. But yeah, so the worst thing about these is they don't stack when you're using them. So you gotta, if, if you want, you can carry up to eight at a time and just set them all in all your uh, quick slots. And then just throw them one at a time. As you can see, this is a particularly bad way. Like I said, if you're really effective and you hit them in the head every time, it takes 13 of them bad boys to actually kill the bison. And, you know, that's assuming that you don't just accidentally hit them in the body every single time. And this bison is being surprisingly tame and actually letting me throw all of these at him and not attack me. Which is cool! Oops. And then every once in a while you accidentally waffle one out like that. There we go, see? <laughs> um, not a great ranged weapon. Yeah, you can kill a bison with it, but uh, it's definitely not going to be quick. So that's number eight. I do not recommend it. So let's move on to number seven. And so at number seven, we have the bow or the regular bow or hunting bow, whatever you want to call it, the lowest level bow in the game. And I'm pairing it with iron arrows. And now to be clear, I know a lot of people will have a problem with that and say that I should have used it with stone arrows considering it's an early game weapon, but I wanted to keep it as consistent as possible, just testing the weapon. So I, I just used iron arrows across the board since I really only used stone arrows for like the first year. And after that, I was using iron arrows. So, uh, this one I have a ranking of two headshots, or five body shots to kill a bison. So let's find a bison and test it out. So, since headshots are going to be what I recommend doing whenever you have to take out a bison, we'll start out with that. So there we have one, and two. See? Two headshots kills a bison. And now, let's prove out the five body shots. So, there's our next bison, we'll test it out on him. So we just got to make sure we don't hit the head, otherwise it'll screw it all up. So one. Two. Three. Four. Ooh, four. See, it's not perfect science, because uh, certain areas of the body will uh, react differently. Uh, take less damage or take more damage. So, and I haven't quite figured those all out yet. I'm not exactly sure how, how big all the hitboxes are. But so four to five, th that's not the first time I've had it go with four in that. But yeah, so if you go with the, uh, with the standard bow with the iron arrows, it's actually not a bad weapon. So let's move on to number six. Okay, and so at number six, we have wooden spears. And now the wooden spears are probably the weapon that I've used to kill more animals in this game than anything else. Basically just because if you're out in the wild and you don't have anything, like your inventory is completely empty, you just collect enough sticks and a couple rocks off the ground, make an axe, chop down a tree, carve yourself some wooden spears. Every log you got, that's another wooden spear. 
They're a, frankly, a great weapon. Only thing they lack in is range and accuracy to a certain extent. But they're definitely great weapons, especially for defensive purposes. Because all spears also double as a melee weapon. See, you can stab with them. But uh, the ranking I have for these ones in the Vicent Killing Contest is two headshots or four body shots. Making them marginally better than the regular bow. Of course, in that last one you saw that it was, it ended up only being four, but it can be five. So there's one headshot, two headshots. See? So it takes them down really effectively. For some reason, the bison are being very docile today. I thought that one was going to charge me right while I was saying that. But, so now, we just got to get four body shots. One. Oh. He's angry. Oh. He's angry. Let's get in the walls. He can't... Ow! Oh, crap. He got in. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Two, three. He's in the house. Four. <laughs> Scientific. So yeah, number six is the wooden spears. Like I said, really good weapons. Uh, I don't recommend going for body shots, especially on the bison. I can't believe it got inside the house. That's hilarious. Anyway, uh, so that's number six. Let's move on to number five. Okay, and at number five, we've got the next best bow in the game, which is the longbow. And again, we've paired it with the iron arrows. Uh, so this one's ranking that it gets is uh, two headshots or three body shots on a bison to kill him. This one is uh, probably the first weapon I bought in the game because I was like, sweet bows. And so uh, from that hunter guy way up to the, um, I think, southeast or whatever, or southwest, whatever, you know, uh, bought one from him right away. So I used one quite a bit. So two headshots should take down a bison. There's one. And there's two. So we got two headshots to take him down. Now let's see if we can prove out the three body shots without getting mauled about eight million times. Okay, there's our guy. I think if we just stay far enough away, he won't maul us. So one. Yikes. Two. Three. Yep, there we go. So, two headshots or three body shots for Bison with the longbow and the uh, uh, iron arrows. Only downside of the longbow is that it's got a it's got the longest draw time of any of the bows in the game. Well, I mean, any of the standard bows. Uh, so, it does take a little bit longer to draw, and it uh, arcs a little bit more than the next bow that we'll see on this list. But we'll get to that more when we get to that one. So, that one was number five. Let's move on to the fourth strongest uh, ranged weapon. Alrighty, tidy. And so at number four, we have the recurve bow and the iron arrows. And now the recurve bow and the long bow perform very, very similarly. Again, this one is a two headshots or three body shots. The only edges that I give the recurve bow, how I broke the tie there, is that the recurve bow draws faster and it uh, shoots a little flatter. So the range is a little bit reduced, but it draws quicker and shoots flatter. So for most hunting things in the game, it's going to just be a better weapon. So let's test it out. Like I said, it should be two headshots and three body shots. So headshots first. One. Ooh, that was even a low headshot. Oop. We uh, screwed it up a bit there. So, hmm, that sucks. But I guess it uh, does make sense because the two headshots thing isn't exactly perfect. Uh, body shot's kind of like a half a headshot. So on this one, we'll try the body shots. So. One. Two. That one almost looked like a headshot. Whoa. Let's try to get a angle on it so we can get our third body shot and kill it. There we go. So three body shots. So like I said, recurve bow is good. Draws a little bit quicker than the long bow. Shoots. Oops. We're going to, I guess we're going to butcher this one. But anyway, so that is uh, number four, the fourth best one. Let's move on to number three. So at the third most, most powerful, we have the crossbow and iron bolts. And now, this one is where it starts getting a little bit contested, and I had to do some extra testing, basically hunting different animals to see, you know, how effective these were, because the top three weapons in here are very, very similar for power. So, the crossbow has really good range, surprisingly, excellent power, uh, and a really slow reload time. So, that would be why it edged out, because it's very similar to the next two weapons, but they, uh, they don't suffer from that really slow reload time. But anyway, so this one has the ranking that I give the crossbow with iron bolts is one headshot for a bison or two body shots. 
So it's it's a remarkably powerful weapon. Uh, let's just quick show it out in the trials. So I guess we're starting with body shots since I missed its head. Yikes. He's angry. Look at that slow reload time. I say that first shot I must have shot directly over him because it didn't hit him at all. But anyway, uh, so two body shots, which is pretty dang good. You're starting to get into really, really easy hunting territory. And now let's do a headshot. So here's our bison buddy. One headshot, and he is down. So yeah, the crossbow is an excellent weapon. It definitely has a lot of advantages to it. The slow reload is made up for, I believe, in the accuracy and uh, the relatively decent range of it. You know, it's it's pretty dang easy to hunt stuff with this. And uh, as far as combo stuff goes, one body and one head will also take it down. So it's, uh, well, I mean, if the one headshot does. Basic math means that would. But anyway, you get what I'm saying. It's a good weapon, but trust me, the next two are even better. Well, even more powerful. Better comes down to personal preference. So that was number three. Let's move on to number two. So at number two, we start getting into the god tier weapons for the game with the stone spear. Now, I find it funny that a stone spear performs so much better than more advanced weapons like, you know, recurve bows and long bows, crossbows, stuff like that that would have come much later in human history. But the stone spear performs excellently well. It has the advantages that all spears have, being extremely quick uh, reload, because you're not really reloading or drawing or whatever, you're just pulling back and throwing. Uh, time and also doubles as a melee weapon. So it's got those advantages that slightly edged out over the crossbow. The ranking against Bisons that this one gets is actually one headshot or two body shots. So it's very similar to the crossbow. Whoa. Whew. Thought that bad boy was coming for me. Oh yeah. We get his uh, one headshot. We'll take that bad boy out. And let's see if we can't test out a body shot. Hmm. That tree saved the uh, Bison's life at least for a little while. So one. Now we'll run away to try to get a better angle. They always charge you when it's least convenient. Oh, I had a better angle if I'd have just stayed where I was. Two. There we go. One headshot, two body shots. Like I said, the stone spear is... It's just... The spears make better weapons than the bows because they don't take so long to fire another shot. You just pull back and you're ready to fire. Like, that's how long it takes. Ooh, ready to fire. You know... And also, stab. So yeah, that's number two. Let's move on to the all-around uh, best weapon of mass destruction, at least when it comes to killing bisons. So let's do that. All right, and so number one, the all-around best is, as most of you probably should have predicted, the Iron Spear. This one has a bison rating, which is a funny phrase that I'm really enjoying using, of one headshot or two body shots. So it's the same as the Stone Spear, making it, it I just find that funny. I, I was expecting when I was doing the testing on this for it to just be one body shot as well because I was like, well, it's got to be better than the Stone Spear, but it's not. They're about the same. The only difference that I was able to find is that the Iron Spear has a lot more durability. So if you make these, you're going to be able to use them longer. Same advantages as before. Quick throwing time. You can stack as many as you want in your inventory and then just pop them into a slot and you'll be able to throw them until you're out of them. And doubles as a melee weapon. So let's test this bad boy out. Here's our first target. Single headshot and he's down, but that's no surprise, right? The uh, crossbow and the uh, stone spear can do that. Let's try our two body shots. So we'll try one right about there in the brisket. And then right about there in the shoulder, it looks like. Yeah, right right in the shoulder. You know, where every, where every bison is easiest to kill. So that is uh, the best one I was able to find. And now the system has its flaws. Obviously... Uh, bows and crossbows are going to give you advantages of accuracy and range. I mean, if you're up nice and close, the spear's accuracy is fine. But it does definitely drop off, so it's not the best uh, weapon for long-distance shots. So if you're a real good shot and you're, you know, you kind of know exactly where you like shooting the animals, then the crossbow with iron bolts is a good way to go. An important note for all the bows is the most important thing, the most important distinction between any of the bows, is going to be that you're using iron arrows. The wooden bolts for the crossbow and the iron, I mean, and the stone arrows for the bow, they're just not as good. The biggest difference you're going to notice is going to be coming from uh, switching, you know, upgrading to iron arrows. So that's kind of where I'm going to end it. Um, 
The weapons are all relatively similar in this game. They made it kind of realistic. Basically, you wouldn't go hunting with a hunting bow if you couldn't kill animals with it. Uh, so, yeah, that, that does it. That's all eight of them ranked. Personally, I don't recommend using the throwing rocks. That was the takeaway from it. Uh, the throwing rocks are not the way to go. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, or suggestions, I, of course, invite you to leave them in the, section, the comment section down below. But uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you liked this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.